Hey everyone, um, I really did not plan to make a video today or any time while I was on tour. In light of a recent chain of events, I've decided that this video needs to go up and it needs to go up now. For those of you following me on Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, you probably already know about this whole situation with Sam Pepper. For those of you who don't, here's a basic rundown. Sam Pepper is a very popular YouTuber. He has a huge channel and most of his videos are fine, but Several of them involve violating, harassing, and assaulting women on the streets. His most recent fake hand ass pinch garnered the most negative attention because he was grabbing women's bottoms without their permission. Um, do you know where the apple shop is? I was um, looking for it. I, I, think it's, I think it's down that. he's physically restrained women with rope, lassos, almost got himself beat up over it, handcuffed himself to girls and told them he won't let them go until they make out with him. Do you like unattach us? Yeah. Or a kiss. Just need to put this. No, can you get away from me? And he's forced his mouth on uncomfortable looking beachgoers who are clearly confused about what the hell is going on. Are you serious? Yeah. We are looking for the best kisser on Venice Beach. Oh. So we You can kiss me on the You can kiss me on the cheek and I'll judge you. No. Oh, <laughs> oh, come on. Now most of the girls in the clips that we actually see, who knows what's going on in the ones that were cut out, you can tell they're really uncomfortable. They go through with it and kind of try to shrug it off. These videos have tons of support and tens of millions of views. And I think that for myself and many other YouTubers, we've decided that this can't go on anymore. We need to say something. Not only is he violating the people in these videos, but he's also sending the message out to millions of young, unquestioning fans that this is a normal way to interact with women. It's not. So then I wrote an open letter to Sam asking him with respect and civility to please stop making videos like this. In less than 24 hours, over 100,000 of you signed the letter, which is amazing. That included many YouTube heavyweights like Hank and John Green, Hannah Hart, Grace and Mamrie, Tyler Oakley, Wheezy Waiter, Dan at Nerd Cube, Strawberry 17, Cat Revic, just tons of people. The story even made several mainstream news outlets. Following this mass community outrage, his most recent video, the one where he's grabbing women's bottoms, was removed from YouTube for violating the terms of service. He then came out with another video, a big reveal, saying that the whole thing was a social experiment to shed light on male sexual assault. Men can also be the victims of sexual harassment, even though you might be led to believe that's not true. Male sexual assault is a serious issue, and how assaulting women to raise awareness about it makes any sense is beyond me. And I think that we all know, because we're not idiots, that that's not what the video was about, and Sam's just trying to save his ass. He also tried to claim that he had consent from the women in the videos. What he may be referring to is getting his consent form signed after he's done it to use the footage. And when some of these women were actually asked if there was consent, their answers suggested no. At the end of the day, regardless of what you call it, a prank, an experiment, a way Awareness raising, when you touch someone without consent, when you force them to be sexual with you, when you pressure them on camera like that, that is harassment, violation, assault. Which is not only wrong, but illegal. His big reveal, however genuine or ingenuine you may personally find it, also doesn't excuse all of those past videos. It also doesn't excuse the disturbing things that came next. After my letter was seen in the broader YouTube community and not just my own little circle, I started to get letters. Letters from young women who were allegedly groped and harassed at music festivals, conferences, meetups. There were tons of stories. Another young woman, a fellow YouTuber, told me of a time that he invited her to crash at his place and then threatened to kick her out on the street if she wouldn't get sexual with him. Then three more young women came forward with very serious allegations. I tried to find a way to bring these instances to light, but for now I'm not in the legal position to give the details of those accounts. What I can tell you is that a police report was filed by a young woman who was allegedly pinned down and masturbated upon against her will. One of the girls we've been exchanging over Skype and hearing her voice shake and hearing these stories is just so deeply upsetting to me and I knew that I could not let this go, I could not let it sweep, be swept under the rug. I knew that if I didn't say something, then who knows what would have happened. Right now, I am supporting them in trying to decide what they want to do. There's also talk of possibly going public with the stories, 
but that comes at a great personal cost. One of them is in the industry and worries about losing her job. Another has spoken out before and was harassed into silence by Sam's fans. Here's the bottom line. This is disgusting, this is wrong, and it needs to stop. Sam Pepper and anyone who behaves like Sam Pepper needs to be held accountable. We need to say that this is not okay. So, five ways that each of you can help. The first is obviously to take it seriously. Sam is not the only one. There was a big sexual abuse scandal earlier this year in the community, and sadly, there will probably be more. Another YouTuber I've been keeping my eye on is Simple Pickup, also known as Kong. He violates women in the streets in basically every single one of his videos. Hey, my name is Kong, and this is Drunk Times with Hot Girls. <laughs> You have really glittery boobs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, me! <laughs> What's the craziest thing you think you would do? Um, Other than this. There's also Adrian Van Oyen, who can be seen exposing his penis to distressed looking young women in public on YouTube. How's it going? What's up? Uh, any of you. You wanna see something cool? Helicopter dick. Helicopter dick. I'd uh, donate my clothes to charity. Get your dick out of my face. There are many copycats and many more guys like this all over YouTube as well. It's almost its own genre. So don't watch these people's videos, don't support their content, don't subscribe, don't send them views or anything, but don't ignore what they're doing. That allows them to safely keep doing it. It's really easy to try to just ignore this stuff. It can be daunting to use your voice, but I would encourage you to do so in the ways that you feel comfortable with, especially those of you who have YouTube followings. Let it be known across the land, this is not what the YouTube community stands for. We need to listen to those stories of people coming forward and support them. We can all help to make it a safer, less hostile place for them. If a video violates YouTube's terms of service, report it. Right now, some YouTubers are in talks with Google and YouTube to try to implement policies that basically say if you committed X number of offenses, you can't have an account anymore. You're not welcome on this platform. Number five was going to be to contact his network, but as of this morning, his network has dropped him. Good call, Collective, and good call to VidCon for dropping him as well, and YouTubers react. Be vigilant, be unafraid. If you know something or if a YouTuber did something to you, you can always reach out to me. Thank you so much for your support everyone for your action taking a stand it means so much to me and I can only imagine how much it means to those who have been suffering in silence Mwah.